Shalom. So the World Health Organization, when they say things, there's usually a plan behind it, as we've seen before with uh, announcements of pandemics and things like that, and then they happen and preparations and so on and so forth. Now the WHO is preparing for nuclear war. The World Health Organization has updated its list of medicines that should be stockpiled for radiological and nuclear emergencies, along with policy advice for appropriate management. These stockpiles include medicines that either prevent or reduce exposure to radiation or treat injuries once exposure has occurred. In radiation emergencies, people may be exposed to radiation at doses ranging from negligible to life-threatening. Governments need to make treatments available for those in need fast. Dr. Maria Neira, WHO Acting Assistant Director General. It is essential that governments are prepared to protect the health of populations and respond immediately to emergencies. This includes having ready supplies of life-saving medicines that will reduce risks and treat injuries from radiation. This updated critical medicines list will be a vital preparedness and readiness tool for our partners to identify, procure, stockpile and deliver immediately. The World Health Organization also briefed nations on the coordination of local, national and international response for a harmonized response to radiation emergencies. They're taking this very seriously because they know this is not reversible at this stage. Everybody, from nobody to everybody, is threatening everybody else with nuclear annihilation. Russia again yesterday released that little video of theirs on their state TV showing the nuclear bomb causing the radioactive tsunami washing over the UK. Everybody's threatening everybody. Everybody's ready on the button. Everybody's prepared to go boom. And to hell with the consequences. Literally to hell. If they start exchanging nuclear fire, the entire climate of the planet's going to change drastically. The fallout carried by the winds will reach pretty much everywhere. And again, this is not fear-mongering. You're not going to be here if you're a believer of Jesus Christ. We'll be gone. But it's going to change the landscape and the world as anyone has ever known it. And maybe that's the plan because then you will be kept indoors where it's safe. You will be looked after by the government if you obey and if your social credit scores and everything are in line with the system and you do as you're told, which is ideally the control the beast system needs. So this is one massive setup. Unfortunately, in an initial exchange, billions will be affected, which again is part of the plan because the less people you have to rule, the easier it is to rule them. And then you think Georgia Guidestones and the ideal number. So I'll just leave that out there. God bless. Keep watching. Don't stress. No need to stockpile anything except an appetite for the wedding in the sky. Shalom.